to, unfortunately I gotta be quiet in this video because, uh, it's kinda like 4 in the morning. I had to leave work early due to car issues. Um, just so y'all know, I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to cars. I had to pull the throttle body off my car. And this is why. If you look in there, it's gunked up. It's currently partially open because of how the computer had it set. But whenever I go to let go of the gas, it immediately just shuts its stalls. Um, last time this happened, I wound up taking it to my buddy at the mechanics. He charged me about five bucks to clean out the throttle body, left it on the car. This time I'm going much deeper on cleaning. We'll be using nitro gloves, keep my hands clean, because I don't want to take a shower. I'm going to have to anyways, but still. <clears throat> Walmart didn't have any nylon toothbrushes, so I got me two six packs. They were a dollar each of normal toothbrushes. Should help me scrub all the gunk off. Uh, actual throttle body cleaner, as well as throttle body air and intake cleaner, as well as the mass airflow sensor cleaner and carb cleaner, which I'm going to spray onto this rag to clean the inside of the air intake system that this adapts to. Now, my car was hot when I took this off. Come to find out, from the looks of it, this piece right here is actually a flow piece for the coolant in the engine. I guess it's to cool this down. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is really filthy. You can see the back plate and the gunk. Uh, I will show you what this looks like afterwards. Um, just note it took me a half hour to pull this off. So, seriously y'all, wish me luck. Because this is going to be one hell of a pain in the ass. Oh, and I bought a red bucket to capture all the fluids and shit that will be coming off the throttle body. This way it doesn't contaminate my house. Might as well say I live in the middle of nowhere, but it's still nice and quiet. So I enjoy it. So everyone, it took me a can and a fifth worth of the cleaner I got at Walmart. It comes with both cam sensor cleaner and throttle body cleaner. Um, ran me seven dollars per pack, so fourteen bucks. Two brushes, two packs, ran me dollar per pack, so two bucks. And I bought normal carburetor cleaner. That's in case I ran out. Trust me, I was afraid I was going to. But after. I don't know how long, sun's coming up. I started this project at about four, it was that bad. And uh, here's the proof that it works. You can see it shine. Oh. But if you take a look on the inside, the whole thing is almost completely spotless. And just to prove that I ain't showing you one side, here's the other side. Unfortunately this plate is going to stay like that on this side from what I can tell it's stained I could take it out give it a chemical bath but in the end it would lessen the strength of the material in my opinion I'm not a professional car mechanic so I don't know I know plenty that could give me tents uh, tips and shit that could fix this up better but the fact that that's even glossy I to tell you I spent a long time cleaning this thing out so I'm going to let it dry up, then I'm going to reinstall it on the car. Well, first I need to kind of clean up the mess. So, this is a throttle body for a 2004 Grand Prix. As far as I know, all Grand Prix's that had the 3800 Series 3 engine would have the same setup. Um, car was getting really hard to start. I'm also going to show you footage of what the intake manifold looks like. Because it's pretty damn bad. Um, I might have to take it to the shop and have them pull that off and profession and clean it. Uh, it, like I said, I don't know what time it is now, people. I'm, I've been up all night, had to come home and do this so I could make sure I made it into work today. Uh, because I need the money. This particular part right here, this whole unit, cheapest I could find was about $225. I'm pretty sure I could call Junkyard up, but 
th these Grand Prix last pretty much forever as long as you don't get in an accident or something. Uh, my has over 270,000 miles on it. Um, it'll keep going as long as I keep up on maintenance and replace parts as needed. Now, here's something you need to know when you first take these off. When I went to finally loosen the last bolt that had any kind, any kind of, uh, like, tight seal to it that kept this rubber, over, well, I guess you call it an O-ring, this rubber seal right here sealed. With the engine hot, it sprayed out a little bit of coolant. And like I said, from, well, I think it was coolant. It was something, because it was under pressure, and as soon as I relieved it, whatever flows through this chamber right here, immediately let go. Um, I got lucky I was wearing gloves. I ask that people who do this kind of work, please take safety precautions. If you do not know what you are doing, take it to a shop or a mechanically inclined friend. I would happily do this if you'll pay for the parts and toss me 25 bucks. But just let you know, there is a sensor in here called a, uh... Throttle position sensor or something like that. That if this goes bad, you might as well not drive your car so you can either have that replaced or this whole unit. I still don't know what the correct sensor in here looks like. Because I'm not going to take it apart. As long as it works, that's all I care about. Oh. Um. So yeah. Here's some proof that it's nice and clean. Oh. You can see a lot more light coming through there. Therefore, it's going to breathe nice and pretty once I put it back in. I'm also going to show you the four bolts I had to deal with on the car. Now it's come daylight, I might be able to show you. I'm going to cut it here so I can put this down, clean up, and then I'll show you the car. Uh, so, on a side note, people. Nitrile gloves, this stuff will eat right through it. Next time I'll wear uh, nitrile Plus my normal work gloves, which are Kevlar, to hopefully stop this from happening when I have to do this kind of work. Like I said, it's currently daytime where I live, so if you're using that, I suggest if you have to get a gloves to do it, get a set of gloves that it will not eat through. Once again, safety is your top priority. You do not want to get chemical burns on your hand. So... Uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna take a while to heal, but I gotta make money. I'm supporting my folks, help my sister, all that kind of stuff, so. I'll see y'all as soon as I show you the car and finish throwing this stuff away. Hey folks, it's me again. There's my nice new clean throttle body that I cleaned. It is not new. Here's the intake manifold. Like I said, I might have to take this to the shop, have them pull this, and professionally clean it. Because if you look in there, it is just nasty in there. Uh, as far as I can tell, I am not going to clean this. I am not going to mess with it. Otherwise, I'd be here for hours. And there's chances I could get some of this on the inside. I don't want to risk it. Because I need this car for work and I love this car and I don't want to get hurt. Um, this one is weird. I saw in other videos, it's three normal bolts. Then a double sided right here. Mine has two double-sided on the bottom and two regular up top. Um, this also, this completely electronic throttle body. And there's the, um, I forgot what it's called. Anyways, it connects to the intake hose that goes right here. This right here is my map sensor. Uh, I think that's what it's called. You know, the giant airflow sensor. Um, take a quick look at this. Looks clean to me. And yeah, so I will reattach this to the tripod, shrink the tripod, and mount it somewhere that's not my way. Okay, people, so let's go ahead and get the throttle body back on here. Anything that had spilled out is no longer contaminating anything that would heat up. I'm going to have to take care of it for a test drive after I get it back together. Um, 
see. First thing I'm gonna do is get the sock I was using. My bad. Make sure I have it in the right direction for tightening. Now, if you are careful, you can reuse the O-ring right here. As you can see, mine's completely intact. So I'm going to go ahead and reuse it. And so, let's see. Get a bolt. Slide it on through. That way, you can align everything together. And not have to fight with the alignment of the parts. Do not fully tighten until you have all four in there. Also, when you take these off, make sure to disconnect your battery. Mainly because this electronic component, this could be setting off sensors or something that would make your engine light pop up. I see I'm doing this by hand. And that's good enough. As you can see, it's still got a little wobble in it, which is what we want. The next part is going to be this bolt right here. Wait. Wrong part. It's going to be this part because it's diagonal. Go ahead and thread that in there. And do the same thing. My hope helps if I got it in the hole. Which I now do, because I had to shake this a little to move it up some. Okay. Still got some nice wiggle to it. So we'll go ahead and get the other bolt in. I call them bolts. People call them other things. I'm half asleep and I don't remember the technical terms. That went in nice and easy. It instantly went straight in the hole. The only reason I'm doing this is because I can see how much space I got left. Okay, last but not least is this bolt. This is going to be fun putting on. Oh. Please, not sarcasm. Now, the reason I cleaned this is I was having starting issues. I went to get gas and had to go straight to work. My car did not want to start, but me pressing the gas pedal while it was turning over let it start. Normally, that's indicated that your engine throttle body is dirty. Making it where it cannot properly get air into there. Engines need three things. Gas, spark, oh, and air. Do not over tighten these. I do this so I know that I'm good to go. The reason you don't want to over tighten these is this is cast. And you don't want it cracking. And that's on there. Uh, 
Something I want to note is some people test these with the this piece removed. Do not do that because you can like contaminants. Wait, anything that can hurt the motor can get in there. Uh, so I'm going to fully put it back together. Then I'll start her up. Now where is the hose? Before we put this back on, we're going to reconnect the wires for the sensor. As you see, when I push down, it locked in there. Make sure if yours is like mine, you push forward while you push down. This way it, it locks in there nice and tight. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, y'all. My dad's not feeling good. You just give me a heads up. He was going to lay down. Hmm. Next step is put this back on. Notice this right here. It will, you'll put this piece into here. This will help you know which way this needs to go. Something I do when I put these on. Is be careful not to rip your nail out. Damn that hurt. Tighten up the uh, clamp here. Wonder how bad I ripped that. I'll probably not want to take a shower. Don't tighten it too much because it is on plastic. This is the sensor for the mass airflow. And uh, this is like a hundred bucks last time I checked. Do not quote me on that. I will look it up. Yeah, I ripped that nail pretty good. It's halfway up. And same on this. And remember what I told you. Throttle body is cast. You can crack it if you over tighten it. Which is one of the reasons why I do it like that. This way I know it's in there nice and tight. Next step is the battery. And after that we're going to put the shroud back on here, and we're going to start her up. See if it'll start. Pray to God it starts, otherwise I'm screwed and i got to call into work. And make no money, and then be screwed even further. Uh, so, just so you know, the factory bolt clamp thing for the battery here is a 10 millimeter. I'm using deep oil. I do not feel like trying to use something else. There we go. Now move all, make sure you double check everything. Those are tightened, all four bolts are tight. Go get my keys and we'll start her up. Make sure we're still recording. Nearly out of battery, it looks like.
here's a few things to note. This is a completely electronic throttle body. Normally, when cars have issues like this, you have to fully reset everything. The car has to relearn everything uh, for the position of the throttle body. If it cannot relearn it, it you'll have to take it to a mechanic pretty much and have them reprogram it. Uh, one of the things we want to do is take it for a test drive and see how good she runs. I do not see any coolant leaks. So, oh, people know what we forgot. There we go. Always double check your work. As you noticed, I forgot something. If I would have started driving with that off, it would have led to a lot of issues. Good news is, I don't think it lets any issues right now. So let's try rubbing it one more time. I consider this a success. I'm going to take her for a quick spin around the neighborhood, heat it up, because that's where I was noticing a lot of the issues is when it was hot, it didn't want to start. Uh, same as you saw, it had trouble cranking over the first time. I think that was because it was still repositioning everything. So I'll post an after, yada yada, and I will see you all. Hey everyone, I'm back from the test drive. Had some issues during the test drive, but that was my fault. Remember when I told you it it was actually coolant? Some odd reason, I don't know why, I don't know if it's built that way, but it circulates coolant through that little piece. That little itty bitty piece I showed you. So that means when it lost pressure and it blew it all around, I hadn't taken into account I would have to burn it off, so I kind of freaked out a little bit during the test drive. My engine bay was smoking real bad because it was burning out all the coolant that got on the exhaust and all that. Uh, so I shut it off, let it cool down, then I raced the damn thing down the highway. Uh, the highway here, you can go 80 miles an hour. So I raced it, burned it off as fast as I could, which allowed me to heat the engine up nice and quick. And then I got home. And I shut it off. And it started! The cleaning did what I wanted it to. Throttle body's a lot more responsive. The whole system's a lot more responsive. However, from the way it has to relearn everything, the transmission is shifting a lot slower. I think it's because it's not able to... It's still got to relearn all the positions and everything from the throttle body now that it's clean. Um, it shifted fine for the most part. Sometimes it would shift a little hard. Uh, I know what's wrong with why it was shifting hard. I plan on having that fixed around August. Uh, August, September. The car is going to be in the shop for a couple days as a result. Um, it's working perfect. I mean, I tap it. It's instant response. I floor it. Very instant response. Exactly where it needs to go. So, I consider this a success. My hours upon hours. Oh, and by the way. It was 6.45 when I got done scrubbing that thing. That ought to tell you how long it took me to clean it. And, uh, uh, it was worth it in my opinion. To make my car last longer, I plan on keeping this car. It comes down to it, I'll toss an engine, transmission, whatever it takes to keep it going. I'd like to keep the original engine and see if they can do a rebuild on it one day. But, that's, will be around the August time, because I'll be getting a lot of money then. Um, so yeah, it is done, I am tired, I need to take a shower because I have to work tonight, 
I have yet to eat anything because I've been busy working on this. Oh, and I'm just done. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video of me fixing Midori's throttle body. Now she can breathe. And uh, if you like the video, press like. I beg you, I need more likes. If you dislike the video, press dislike. You know how to do that. Plenty of you know how to do that. I just ask you, please explain yourself in a comment. It can be an anonymous comment. You can make an account out of the blue real fast to leave a comment. Explain why you disliked my video. And if you want to see more videos like this, along with older types of tech, considering most vehicles that are coming out today have the title 2019, and my car is 2004, it can be considered old technology. Seriously, though, I love my car. Thank you to my sister for selling it to me. Thank you to my job for let me have a job. Uh, one day I will tell you all what it is. I'm still in the middle of making sure I get everything right before I re do the big reveal of where I work. Um, let's see, all together. Let's see, where's my wallet? Probably take the car cleaner back. All together. For all the stuff I had to buy to clean, it ran me $23.50. That is... Turn over. Oh. 18 quart dish bus seat. What price was that? That was most likely the... No, that's not the carb cleaner. There is carb cleaner, two auto cams, which is the dual cleaner thing, which comes with two cans per thing. I bought two of those. Two packs, two fresh. Oh, the 18 quart dish pan. Thank you, Walmart. Uh, I bought the dishpan so I'd have something to let all the craps sink into so it wouldn't mess with the soil here where I live. Don't want IPA or whatever you call them after my ass. And that is it. I have rambled on enough. I know y'all don't like me. I don't care. I'm doing what I love to do. How many people can say that? I'll see y'all later.